Hi there, Steve here with our latest how video. Today I'm going to show you how Zoho CRM produces the sales pipeline analysis we showed in our wow video. Let's look at those charts that show how close you are to hitting target. The expected revenue this year chart is a standard report in Zoho CRM. You don't have to do a thing to create it. The only part that isn't standard is the target you're aiming for. To add that, we edit the report and put the revenue you're aiming for in the target box. It's that simple. We also showed you monthly and quarterly target charts in our WOW videos. We can create those by cloning the expected revenue this year chart. We change the name from expected revenue this year cloned to expected revenue this quarter. We change the duration from closing date in deals this year to closing date in deals should be this quarter. And we change the target from 12 million to 4 million because in this example we're assuming that sales are even throughout the year. And that's it. It's done. You can do almost exactly the same thing to report on expected revenue this month too. The next thing we showed in our WOW videos were the deals that made up this expected revenue. And here's some more great news. You don't have to do anything to set up that report either. It's a standard part of Zoho CRM. You click on the progress bar in the expected revenue chart, a separate window opens up and it shows you all of the deals that make up that total. Click on any of those deals and you'll see what stage it's reached, who, what product it's about, who's dealing with it, and any calls or meetings that have been logged so far. But let's face it, there are very few sales directors who have the time to scroll through all of the deals their sales teams are working on. The director will usually want to focus on the big deals that are going to move the needle, to use that horrible phrase. So we create a new report in Zoho CRM to show those important deals. We start by cloning the deals closing this month report. We remove the fields we don't need, like account name and stage. We add the amount field. We reorder the columns, so the two most important fields in this example, amount and closing date, appear first. We then change the filter so the report will only show deals where the closing date is in the next 90 days and where the amount is over £50,000. They're the important deals in this scenario. And then we save the report as important deals. That's a much more manageable report for a sales director to review and it took seconds to create. But maybe you're the kind of sales director who has even less time to review active deals. The WOW video showed you how to focus on just the important deals that the sales team haven't called to follow up yet. You risk losing those deals. So we can create a report now that looks, yes, at your accounts and the deals they have and the calls that are related to those deals as well. we add the fields that we want to see in that report. Fields like the deal amount, the closing date, the name of the deal, the call start time, and the deal owner. And we filter this report so we see the same important deals as before, but this time we only want to see the deals that either haven't had any follow-up calls at all, or that haven't had a follow-up call in the last 30 days.
and bam, there you have it. Now you know whose wrists need slapping, in the nicest possible way, of course. That was the detail behind how we give you the sales pipeline information shown in our WOW video. It may have been more detailed, but it still only scratches the surface of what you can do with Zoho CRM. Take a look at our other WOW and HOW videos for more ways we can improve sales performance.